Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. So, as I keep using KDE every day, I'm finding that default apps are not that numerous. KDE is more than just Plasma though, and a lot of applications have been developed with the KDE frameworks. Let's take a look at some of them. Falcon. Falcon is a KDE web browser. It looks and feels every bit the KDE app with a nice clean interface and some powerful features by default. It ships with a few themes, it has an ad blocker integrated, a download and password manager, and even has some extensions, such as K-Wallet integration, auto-scroll, and even vertical tabs. It renders web pages competently, being based on WebKit, and is fast and stable. I use it for almost all of my web browsing sessions on KDE these days. Falcon is available on Discover and is a well-integrated, good-looking and powerful browser. In my opinion, it lacks Firefox account sync, but apart from that, it handled anything I threw at it. Caden Live. Of course this one was going to make the list. It's my video editor of choice on Linux, even when I'm using elementary OS. It is powerful, full-featured and looks great. Kdenlive has a lot of effects and transitions you can apply on the fly, with a built-in library to download more, it supports multiple audio and video tracks, can render in a lot of different formats, and has a good project bin where you can organize media within folders. Kdenlive has a lot of effects you can apply on your audio and video, such as increasing gain, blurring, movement tracking, compositing, color calibration and more. The only downside of this fantastic piece of software is its stability. Depending on your drivers, your system, it can behave erratically from time to time, crashing regularly or refusing to apply some effects for no reason. Thankfully, it autosaves pretty often and you can recover from crashes very quickly without losing any unsaved work. In my opinion, it is the best open source video editor out there for Linux and KDE. Digicam Digicam is a photo library and editor. Compared to Gwenview, it has a lot more features. Its interface might even seem cluttered by moments with tabs and navigation options laid out vertically on the right and the left of the main photo library. Digicam handles RAW files as well as standard image formats. It has a powerful editor with a lot of transformation tools to shear, rotate, adjust perspective, flip and crop your photos. It also has a complete library of effects, including oil painting, charcoal drawing, film grain, embossing. You can also tweak and enhance any picture with red-eye reduction, color and white balance, adjusting brightness, curves and levels, anything you can want in a photo editor. On my computer, some effects were a bit slow to apply and did not preview in real time in the application, but for users with a beefier PC, I think Digicam is a great option to tweak and make their pictures really shine. Just reviewing it made me want to try my hand at some photo editing which I had almost no interest in before. Krita. This is going to be a tough one to talk about since I am no artist. Krita is a digital painting program. It can be used like one would use GIMP or Photoshop, but it's more suited to digital artists using a tablet with lots and lots of paint brushes to get results quickly, fantastic color selection tools, as well as a ton of filters, shape editors and layer tools. I am definitely not the best suited person to talk about this great piece of software, but here are a few examples of what you can achieve with it. Contact. Contact is a shell that integrates most KDE Personal Information Management Software, or PIM, in one application. It handles mail, contacts, calendars, to-do lists, feeds, journals and notes in just one program. Think of it as KDE's Outlook. The interface of each module can be daunting at first, with options, toolbars and settings everywhere in true older KDE fashion. But everything here is customizable to look and feel however you want it to. If you don't want a full integrated PIM suite, you can obviously download and start each module as a separate app, for example Kmail here. All these apps are pretty powerful, even though some start to look a bit dated, such as K-Organizer, the calendar. All in all, there isn't much choice in the KDE email and calendar applications department, but Contact and its components are competent enough, and with a bit of tweaking, can look and feel more modern. Other applications. Obviously, there are plenty more KDE apps I can't cover here, such as KDevelop, the KDE IDE, which is the complete package to code on Qt or KDE applications, Dragon Player, a very simple video player, Amarok, the eternal beast of a music player packed to the gills with features and plugins, or the Caligra Suite, which is a full-featured office suite with programs ranging from the word processor to the vector drawing applications, including spreadsheets, presentations, databases and more. So, what can we conclude of this? Well, even though KDE's default software collection might seem lacking, you have plenty of options to make it work. 
There are not many different applications in each category, but this is mainly due to the fact that each proposition can be tweaked to look and behave in so many ways that developing a whole new application wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour of some of KDE's best applications. And obviously, if you have some other suggestions, don't hesitate to recommend them to me. So in the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next one, and goodbye. If you enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Linux EXP. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.